Hey guys, it's Derek. I'm out with a couple of bucks today and we're looking to finish off our seven souvenirs of August. I need a multi-cache, a virtual cache, and an earth cache. And here we go to get them. Come along with us. Walking in the sun We think of all the places we have been all right, This one says it's the easiest multi-cache, so we're taking the easy way out today. <laughs> But I talked some cash at an event just a few minutes ago. And, um, I don't know, there may be a surprise in, in store for us. Let's see. It was in the skirt, but this is only the first stage, so let's see. Let's see what we got here. All right, so already we got a clever cash runner. They tell me to open up one side, but the note inside that says, great job, open the other side, so. We have to get in there and get that other. It is the easiest multi cache. I, I think it barely qualifies, but the other side, as I open it up, was the log. So I guess this side of the container is stage one. This side of the container is stage two, and we've already got the find. So multi cache checked off. Well, that's as easy of a multi cache as we could have hoped for. So we got the sightseer souvenir, and now we're going off to get our earth cache for the nature lover and. Uh, virtual cash for the collector, so come along. Alright, something a little more interesting here. We're on our way to an earth cache, taking a little walk here in the downtown area. Um, I think we have to go to two different locations to get information, but we're coming up on the first one here. Pretty cool spot. Uh, Got to be some history here, so I'm going to look around for a plaque that we can take a look at as well. I think the earth cache has to do with the rocks that are found in this location. Pretty area, a lot of cool stuff here. Being in this interesting area reminds me of my YouTube friend Austin from Historical Geocaching. I'll put a link down in the description to his channel. He's, he goes to a lot of places like this and teaches you a lot about uh, historical sites. I'm just going to take some pictures of the plaques and things that we have here and I'll put those, a link to those in the description as well. And so enjoy the little historical geocaching with us today. That's for you Austin. Enjoy. second location we got our information here this one has to do with granite whereas the other one had to do with limestone all right that was a super interesting area uh, now we're off to find a virtual because that's what I need but a couple of bucks already got a where ago so he has completed the seven souvenirs of August what do you think about that hey, hey, all right we got them you did it <laughs> souvenir for me it's a virtual cache and it's in a really cool spot here right down by the river there's a sculpture right there um, and then there's a really neat pedestrian bridge that goes over the river and the information we need for the virtual is right over here on a plaque having to do with the Chicago Street pumping station so 
the information we need from the virtual is right there. And we'll take a couple of pictures here and that will finish off the seven souvenirs of August for me. So thanks for coming along uh, on my different adventures. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a like in the uh, down below and subscribe and all those good things and make a comment. So until next time, happy caching. See you next time. Walking in the sun, we think of all the places left to go. Nothing else compares to our family and our friends that bring us home.